Hello. Today's video is all about reparenting yourself. Reparenting yourself so that the best version of you can emerge, you can smash your goals, you can reach the peak of your potentials. Reparenting yourself so that you can have more meaningful relationship with yourself and with others. So that you can raise children who will not have to wake up tomorrow and reparent themselves. You can raise children who will also reach the peak of their potentials. My name is Inimio Rebo and if you are a returning subscriber, thank you very much. And if you are new here, yay! Welcome to Parenting with Inimio Rebo. It is a value-packed channel. You want to check my previous videos to get transformational parenting experiences. Again, it's all about reparenting yourself so that you can be the best version of yourself. You can be that which God has created you to be. Let me share a bit of my story. My first encounter with low self-esteem was when I was in my GSS2. I was a lively girl who was who was okay, who was okay with herself until a certain girl in my class said to me, you are a beautiful girl, but you have brown teeth. Prior to that, they had not noticed the color of my teeth. Neither had I noticed the color of the teeth of other people around me. But that day when I got home, I became worried. I became concerned. I looked at my teeth in the mirror and I realized, uh, oh, they were really brown. I looked at the teeth of my friends. I realized, oh, they were white. And that day it occurred to me that, okay, or that day I had the mindset that, oh, my brown teeth were a major disadvantage. They were going to come in the way of my aspiration as a child. And that thought lingered for a very long time until I sought healing from childhood baggages. Why am I sharing this? When we talk about reparenting yourself, we are not talking about blaming our parents because our parents are not solely responsible for the things that happen to us as children. However, they had a role, or as a parent, you have a role to nurture self-love, self-respect, self-acceptance, self-confidence in your children. Now, if I have parents who were who were up to their duty in nurturing self-love and self-confidence in me, they probably would have sat me. I probably would have gotten home and told them, hey, see what happened in school today. And they would have looked at me and said, sit down, my daughter. Your teeth doesn't your teeth don't define you. They would have shown me people who are doing amazing th things and they are not perfect. They would have let me know that not everyone is perfect. They would have let me know that life is always throwing adversities. Life is always throwing lemons. And what you need to do is to make lemonade out of them. They would have built my self-confidence. They would have made me see all that features I have that I can actually help me realize my good. I needed to realize my vision and not focus on my teeth. Many times I hear people say, oh, they turn that well. I always wonder if they actually know what it means to turn that well. Because you see people who claim they turn that well struggling with authenticity, struggling with open-mindedness, struggling with self-confidence, struggling with assertiveness, struggling with, with humility, and a lot more. Now, these are skills that were supposed to be nurtured in you as a child, that you just have naturally because they are essential skills for for growth and for reaching your potentials. They are essential skills you should pass to your children. However, these skills were not nurtured in us. We, we had were denied needs that would have helped us grow this, grown these skills. Like I talked about, I shared a bit of my own. For a long time, I suffered low self-esteem. I didn't go where I was supposed to go. I didn't meet the kind of friends I desired to meet. I didn't, I didn't go to events I desired to go to. I didn't um, take up opportunities that, I, that were befitting of me, that looking back now, they were actually what I, des I deserved. I didn't do that because I felt I was not good enough. Now, there was a missing need, need there. I needed the need to be reassured. I needed the need that would help me nurture my self-esteem. But that need was not there. So as an adult, one of the things you want to look at, one of the very first things you want to take towards reparenting yourself. Now, this is my own signature, reparenting yourself. So you may not get this pattern anywhere else is what worked for me what has worked for the parents um i have i have 
been privileged to coach and mentor. So one of the very first things you want to do is to define who you are. Who were you created to be? What is your vision? What is your re what is your vision? What is your vision? Are, are you even lost in yourself? Do you even know your vision? Do you even know what you want? Do you know your potential? You are just open and close-minded. You are not, you are just doing copycatting, not being authentic. Or you don't even have the self-confidence. Or you feel, oh, this thing ah, is not, it's not within my reach. Um, I can't achieve that. No. The very first thing you want to know is your vision. What is your vision? Your vision. What do you desire most? What is that thing that you really desire to do that you have not been able to do? That's the very first thing you want to know. The very first step towards reparenting yourself. Now, the need to know your vision is important because you want to understand why you have not achieved it. You, have, you want to understand why you have not reached the peak of your potentials. And when you know why, it helps you trace the factors that are responsible for it. Those factors are files stored in you through or make needs as a child. Those files that you just open and pick your response from. For example, the file that I was not good enough, my color pit was a stumbling block, was not good enough was a fight that was in my brain for a very long time. So, for example, even though I love to be a public speaker, I always felt, how do I open my mouth to speak in public? Even though I needed to, I desired to have a certain people as friends, I always felt when I get there, they will see my teeth and they'll begin to laugh at me. I wasn't good enough. So it slowed me down for a very long time until, like I said, I began to visit my childhood baggages and unlearn some of the things that were self-sabotaging for me. So you want to now look at what is your vision? What is your desire? What are those factors that have held you down? What are those factors that have not allowed you to reach where you want to reach? Then where is where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? I haven't known your vision and factors sabotaging it. You want to ask yourself, what skills do I actually need to realize my vision? Now, you are struggling to realize your vision because these skills were not nurtured in you. And reparenting yourself simply means you are going to nurture these skills in yourself. Now, one of the easiest ways to do them is this. You want to set goals for yourself. You want to set goals that will help you realize your vision. As you set the goals, look at the obstacles. You know how to set smart goals, right? Then you set your goals, make sure they are smart, and look at the obstacles. Then I said, is my customized, is my signature preparing yourself? Then you look at yourself in the mirror. When you are looking at yourself in the mirror, you become two persons. You have, you have created your vision. You have now identified the skills you need to reach your vision. You have set your goals. Now you are looking at the obstacles that will come in the way. Your fears, your why not. Like I always say to, to a friend of mine, I always say to people in my parenting accountability community that one of the major things, one of the major factors responsible for why many people don't achieve their full potentials is lack of self-confidence. And the funny thing is, lack of self-confidence presents itself in different many excuses that seem valid. Oh, I don't have what it takes yet. If you look at it, the innate motivation is lack of self-confidence. Oh, I have not, I am not prepared yet. Oh, I cannot speak very well. I don't have fine dresses. I don't, um, I don't have the connection. I don't, I don't, I don't. They are actually lack of self-confidence. That is what they mean most of the time. But the excuses seem valid. So, and one of the things I always tell them that, like I have a friend right now, 
she wants to um launch her youtube channel and be cooking cooking show she has she's she's a good cook she's a chef a good cook she she tells me oh my kitchen is not like this my kitchen is not like this yet this is why i have not started what i did the other day i went on youtube i saw people whose kitchen are not half as fine as she has is and they are already doing what they are doing so i i sent her the link i said be looking at those videos you know see this one they don't have fine kitchens but they are already doing what they are doing so one of the things you want to do is you want to look for people who are already doing what you are doing if you have people who are doing that thing you want to do that vision you have that you are you have excuses that you have not reached it if you have if you see people who are doing them you look at their factors they have similar factors as you have it simply means that your excuses are not valid you have self-confident issues so what you want to do is to stand before your mirror and reparent yourself you at the side of the mirror you at the side of the mirror is the parent and you in the mirror your reflection is you is your child is you is the child you were is the child you were that was not nurtured the skill you needed to pursue your vision today so what you want to do you want to see yourself as yourself in the mirror as the child you were or you want to see yourself in the mirror as a friend who actually wants to, who has a vision, has the vision you have and coming up with the flimsy excuse you are coming up with. And you want to talk to that friend. Like I shared my story. You want to tell me as a child, I want to tell me as a child that you have brown teeth. It doesn't define you. They don't define you. They don't stop your brain from working. They don't stop your hands from working. They don't stop your legs from working. They don't stop you from becoming who you want to be. Who do you want to be? A doctor. So your brown teeth cannot stop you. They are not an obstacle. You want to be a lawyer. You don't need it to speak. You want to be a doctor. You don't need it to give someone an aim to treat someone. You, you, whatever you want to be, I'm using doctor and lawyer because that was what everybody wanted to be in those days. So they don't stop you from being who you want to be. You want to look in the mirror and tell yourself that in the mirror. You want to look for, remind yourself of people, research people who are doing very well, who have their limitations, who have the same factors you have, who have worse factors than you have, yet who are smashing their goals, who are um, achieving the height of their potentials. You want to tell yourself that opportunity you don't have as a child to listen to soothing words, to listen to reassuring words. You want to give yourself that opportunity now as an adult. Now, it is important to know that when I talk about vision, I don't only mean your career or your money-making part or your vision. I also mean every other aspect that defines success. How you, The big picture you have, for example, your relationship with your spouse, your relationship with your children, they are also a reflection of how you were raised. Your unmet needs also come in the way to sabotage your big picture, what you have in mind. When you're talking about your vision for your children, what you actually, what relationship um, picture do you have in mind? Are you able to have that relationship? Are you struggling with it? It is also a reflection of the unmet needs you had as a child. If you are a permissive parent, you are an authoritarian parent, it is also a reflection of how you were nurtured, the needs that were not met in you. Those needs that were not met in you will reflect in the skills you lack as an adult. So the ones you you the, the, the ones that were nurtured in you, the needs that were met, you already have them. So there's every possibility or probability that you are already using them, leaving them to the fullness. So the ones that were lacking or that are lacking in you are the ones you, you didn't have as a child, the needs that were not met. So when I talk about vision, I mean holistically in every aspect of your life. So you want to sit down and create vision for every aspect of your life and check out the skills that you lack 
and the skills you actually need to achieve that particular vision. Now, I hope this class was helpful. Again, this is my signature reparenting yourself. So for me, this was how I achieved my self-reparenting. I sat back and I created my vision in the different dimensions of life. I have my vision template I use, parenting with the vision. If you need it, I can. It's for sale. It's free to pack parents. I use that to sit back and re I reparented myself. I look at the skills, the needs that were not met in me as a child. I needed love and respect. It was not always there. I needed self-confidence to be nurtured in me. It was not always there. I needed to learn how to... Um, I had the need to learn how to self-regulate, emotion regulation. It was not always there. I, 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 I lacked the need for proper communication. So it reflected in every single thing I wanted to do. The way I show my emotions to my children, the way I was intolerant towards frustration, the way I couldn't communicate effectively because these needs were not nurtured in me. They were not met in me. So I realized these needs were what were not nurtured in me and they are the skills I am lacking. So I sat back, I created my vision, I set my goals and I began the journey of reparenting. And I use my mirror a lot of the time. I'll look myself in the mirror and I'll say, you can, you can, you can, you are good enough. So they're looking out for people who were doing amazing things. I remember I saw one actress on one actress on on TV one day. She had my kind of teeth, and she was the star. I don't remember her, and I was just looking at her like, if this girl can boldly come in front of the camera, millions of people probably are watching her. Then what the heck? Why am I holding back? You know, I knew that. I needed to work on my self-confidence. It was a skill I lack. I had to start the journey. I had to read books. I had to take courses. I had to go watch free YouTube videos to know how to be confident. I knew I needed to speak more. It's something I've always desired to raise children who are who know how to communicate effectively, who have social skills. But I knew that it was not something that was nurtured in me. So I had to learn. That was how I actually started my etiquette with children, train the etiquette, character skills, leadership, sexual education with children. I knew that I needed to be able to, be, I mean, to protect my children. So I had to nurture those skills in me that I lacked as a child. I've shared my reparenting um, signature with you. So I'd like to see your comments. I'd like to read your comments. I'd like to know what you think of this reparenting. And I want to know if you are going to start your reparenting journey. And I'd also like to know how you are doing in your reparenting journey. Remember, when you have reparented yourself, you are going to shine in every dimension of life. Your spiritual life, you are going to shine more because you are going to have more confidence to actually face your vision and smash those goals you have towards your vision. You are going to look at your health life and you are going to create goals and you are going to be able to smash the goals. You are going to look at your parenting life and you are going to create your visions, create your goals, and you are going to shine in that aspect. Even in your marriage, you are going to be able to shine in that aspect. In adversity, your adversity quotient is going to be high. You are going to understand, you are going to learn frustration tolerance. You are going to be able to self-regulate, understand your emotions and be able to regulate them. You are going to be able to meet people, network boldly, meet people. You are going to have the confidence to go to where you usually wouldn't want to go. Yes. You are going to be able to hold and um, have a connection, a better relationship with your children. You are going to commit to self-care, pamper yourself, respect yourself, love yourself. Many of us do not do that because we're not raised to love ourselves. You are going to set your boundaries. You are going to not to please people again. You are going to set your boundaries. You are going to say enough is enough. I'm no longer a people pleaser. You are going to stop the copycatting. You are going to be authentic to yourself. You are going to find your voice, find your niche, find your purpose, create your vision, and you are going to achieve. You are going to smash your goals, achieve your aims, and reach the peak of your potentials.
if you do what I recommended in this video. Thank you so much for doing this with me. If you are a new subscriber, if you are a new, if you are new here, please subscribe, like, share, tell other parents about this amazing community. My name is Enemy Rebel. See you next time. Bye-bye.